Once you've opened up the file in your Canva account, you can go ahead and start customizing all of the colors, the fonts, and the text within the file. Uh, you can click on the color of the area that you want to change and then enter the hex code uh, for your uh, branding colors, or you can drag and drop the colors on that little screen. You can also change the font uh, for that text that's right there, and you can change the font size, and you can also change the color of the text and the color of the background. You can change the color of the ABA therapy area by inputting the hex code, or you can just pick from that color selector. Same thing with the text below there and your um, the tagline area that's below ABA therapy. You can change the colors of these icons to whatever color you would like, or you can input the hex code. The document colors area keeps the colors that you've recently used saved in there so you don't have to constantly input the hex codes over and over again. You can change the font for this area, the font color, the size. You can make it bold, italics, underlined. Again, you can change the color for this text box area. You can change the color of every single area on this page following the same instructions and guidelines um, for changing the document colors. Some areas have more than one color and that's why you'll see three boxes up at the top. So you can change each color box that you desire. I'm inputting a new color variation here using the hex code. This area that I just changed the background color to, that picture has transparency um, applied to it. You can change in that little box area up there with the checkerboard. You can make the picture brighter or you can uh, make it more transparent depending on how you would like it. Here's where you would upload your logo. So you would delete the logo um, that is currently there, which is my logo, and you could drag and drop your picture onto there. So I'm gonna show you how to delete. There you go, just delete my logo there. And then pretending that this is a logo, the picture I just put on there, you would just resize it to fit. Um, and then you would place it where you would like it. And I'm just undoing what I did. I'm changing the colors of those icons using uh, the, the color picker and the document color area, changing the background color of this area and the text color. Again, I'm changing the text color. You basically just hover, um, click into any area you would like to change, and then up at the top uh, toolbar, you just change um, whichever um, setting you would like to change. If you want to change the color, you click on the color. If you want to change the text size or font selection, you um, do that up in the toolbar. I'm changing the icons for the services area. I'm changing the color by um, selecting in there, they're grouped together. So I just make sure to click on the check mark itself to change that color. I'm making this area bold. This is how you change the font selection. You can put whatever font that doesn't have one of those little um, crown icons next to it. That's a, a premium feature of uh, Canva. So if you don't have a um, pro account, you can't use anything with the crown next to it but there are plenty of options there. So you can just pick one of the free font options that are available. So I'm showing you how to just drag and drop a new picture into this area and I'll go over how to upload new pictures in just a second. Uh, it's very easy to drag and drop. So you would go to your file folders and just pick the file you wanna drag and drop to the upload area and it'll automatically upload. There's also free images available from Canva as long as it doesn't have a crown over it. So you would just basically drag and drop the images that you want in there um, from your file folders and then just drag and drop into the image areas. You don't have to delete the old image, you just drag and drop right into where there was an image before. And then adjust the transparency as you um, want to and as you need and then just drag and drop the image um, that you would like and it's that simple.
And then once you have the document um, to your liking, you have all the colors you like and the pictures, you go over to the file area and click save. And then to download, you click that arrow and then you select the uh, file type that you would like. If you're gonna be printing, I suggest PDF and then just click download. And then that'll download to the downloads on your computer and you're all done, you can have it sent to be printed.